Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You're back to your in Hebrew. My husband, Kolo Olia Jeremy, share some intimate time with their lovely kids. As Tony also apologized for the glitches faced with their son's game, Yue Game. Just some hours ago, Tony and her husband shared a short clip where Tony's husband bagged their son, Wilua Ajiemi, and also serenaded him to sleep. It seems Tony and her husband are taking a lot of time away from work and bonding more with their kids. Apart from sharing adorable moments on social media platforms about this family, they also work on their personal development and business. And today, they took out their time to apologize to everyone who has been facing one problem or the other downloading their son's game. And so he says, Dear family, we have gotten all your feedbacks. We apologize for the technical challenges you have encountered and shared so far. Kindly notes that our technical team is working on rectifying them as soon as possible. Best regards, Team Iwe. They say thanks for all your support and downloading. It was at the age of one when Iwe celebrated his first year birthday that he started his own business and became a CEO at the age of one. And just right after Ire celebrated his first year birthday that they made this special announcement, making Ire the youngest CEO in Nigeria entertainment industry. And it was not until December that this business was officially launched. And Tony and her husband shared this on their social media platform. My name is Yulu Adiyemi. I'm the founder of Africa's first indigenous trivial game, Entertainment Solutions, and the content entrepreneur. We just released our very first game, Iwe Game. This is the best indigenous quiz game for children and adults to test insight and knowledge of culture and history. Having fun while learning, deliberately designed with home fuel and traditional landmarks, 100% Yoruba theme, the switch button for the non Yoruba speaking lovers. You hope you will love it as much as we love you and we will appreciate your feedback. This is somewhat of a unique game because it is the first in Africa. Everyone in this family is working towards something and constantly growing. Of course, the Abraham also has been using our social media platform to reach out to our followers and fans and also being a positive impact. She usually gives out her advices on her YouTube platform. And one of them was about career choice. And according to Tony, making a career choice is a defining life decision that should be done with utmost intentionality. That is why choosing a career path because your friends chose it is one of the easiest receipts for living an unfulfilled, frustrated life. Most importantly, when deciding your choice of career, never ever leave God out of it because Really more is she as she la. Apart from being a popular Yuba actress, Tony is also a businesswoman. She's a successful entrepreneur, a movie producer. Some of her businesses are plush hair by Toyin, Tokitile by Toyin, Body Talk by Toyin, and Cuff Slimming Tea by Toyin. And her husband, Kola Walia Jim, who is also a popular Yuba actor, is also a CEO. He's the CEO of Kola Walia Clothings and Ajio Maji School of Performing Arts. Ajio Maji School of Performing Arts is located in Abelkuta, the capital of Ogun State. What do we know about the background? of Tony Abram and her husband when it comes to their career. Tony began acting in the year 2003 but then took it up professionally between 2004 and 2005. Her motivation came from her boss, Bookie Wright, an East Nigerian actress. Tony Abram first featured in Mookie's movie, Dube Dube Mbo. Subsequently, she began to send all the movies on to she rose to start up. As Tony grew in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. The very first movie she produced is Ala Juta and she also had plans to produce Ala Juta Reloaded. Tony today has become one of the biggest brands we have in Nigerian movie industry and according to her, she's not relenting. She has been consistent in making a name for herself. Some of Tony's blockbuster movies are Dear Hafi 2020, Fate of Alakada, The Party Plan of 2020, Small Chops 2020, Elevator Baby 2019, Don't Get Mad, Get Evil. 2019, Made in Heaven 2019, The Millions 2019, Castle Nova 2019, Bling Legoshans 2019, Nimbi 2019, The Ghost and the Tout 2018, Seven and a Half Days 2018, These Guys 2018, What Just Happened 2018, Alakada Reloaded 2017, SOE 2017, Hakunde 2017, Mentally 2017, Tattoo 2017, London Fever 2017, Wise and Child Evolution 2017, Celebrity Marriage 2017, Okafor's Law 2016, What Makes You Thick 2017, Tony Awards 2016, 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 Tony Awards 
so the dagbolu joke in joke e kun sun me sun mi ba yo ife ni okala pastor e wuko e wuko la kokoro umwa ye asan ota mokon la ija ye manjik alabe o wuko mi siri ju na wong lo e kun meran ori lo wo ono me agaga ante oma ye ni wa among others and his latest movies oh sha and Amy Elisha are currently trending on this same platform. I know to so many people that said they knew Kola Oleje when he got married to Abraham. Kola Oleje at GME is one of the veterans that has been active in the Nigerian movie industry since the 90s. He was under the tutelage of veteran Yoba actors Isiaka Odutola, Umyogbo and Shegbo Akoni Ogunbe. Things like Kola Oleje went ahead to fully establish himself as an actor. And he has featured in over 100 movies and worked as a director for many others. And of course, he's also a producer who has produced at least 20 movies. Kola Wale Ajemi was born and raised in the Boom of Shoyo State. And he also had both his primary and secondary school education in Oyo State. His father is a popular musician, Ajemi. This also motivated him to join the movie industry because of his background. So he began an acting career in the year 2003 when another Nigerian film, Sabuki Wright, arrived at Ibado in Oyo State to shoot a movie. Initially, she played small background roles but also rose to becoming a well recognized actress, taking on lead roles. And just like her husband, Twain was also born and raised in Oyo State, but then she was born and raised in Ibadan, and not with Bumosho, like her husband. These two have also won some awards over the years. Twain's recent awards are Best Actress in Africa, Africa Madivia Choice Awards 2020, and Best Actress of the Year, Africa Choice Awards. Some of our other awards before now include Best Actress Alaka TV Awards 2014, Best Ingenious Actress Nigerian Titan Awards 2014, the Best Supporting Actress Feature Film Akundi Five Continent International Film Festival 2017, Best Actress in Nollywood Mokli All Youth Awards Maya 2017, the Best Female Act Nigerian Titan Awards NDA 2017, Best Actress Alaka Dawiluded Exquisite Lady of the Year Eloy 2017, and Best Supporting Actress Tasso Africa Magic Vance Trace Awards AFC 2018 and She also has some nominations apart from this award she won. Some of her nominations include Best Supporting Actress Yuba Ebimini Best of Nollywood Awards 2013, Best Actress in the Supporting with SOE African Movie Academy Awards AMA 2018, and Best Actress in the Supporting with Damo the Sky English Best of Nollywood 2019 among others. Toya and her husband and their daughter Timi Tokwe have grown to be one of Nigeria's biggest social influencers. Their daughter Timi Tokwe is growing rapidly and now she has over 181,000 followers on Instagram. And her husband Kola Wale at GMA has surpassed 1 million followers on Instagram. Whilst he has 5.9 followers on her Instagram platform. We have come to the end of this episode where Tony Herbram and her husband share intimate time with their kids and Tony apologize for the glitches with their son Iris Game. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let's know two new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.